Alright, let's now look at what are called coterminal angles. And two angles with the same initial and terminal side but possibly different rotations are called coterminal. So coterminal angles differ by a factor of 360 degrees or 2 pi. If you have an angle theta, a coterminal angle with theta will either be 0 plus or minus 360 degrees if you're in degrees or plus or minus 2 pi if you're in radians. So just a quick example. If I rotated, my, my initial angle was 30 degrees, let's say. So a coterminal angle will have the same initial side and also the same terminal side. So if I rotate around one more time, that's going to be the original 30 degrees plus another 360. So that would be 390 degrees. So 30 degrees and 390 degrees are considered coterminal. And they can be positive or negative. If we had, say we went up and rotated pi over 4, that would be one angle. If I wanted to find an angle that's coterminal with that one, I have the same initial side. So from pi over 4, I would be adding so my, my coterminal angle would be pi over 4 plus 2 pi, or pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4, which equals 9 pi over 4. So the second angle here is 9 pi over 4. They both have the same initial side, they both have the same terminal side, but certainly the measure of those angles are different. So let's look at example 5 says, assume the following angles are in standard position. Find a positive angle less than 360 that is coterminal with each angle. And so if you want to find an angle that's coterminal, you would either add or subtract multiples of 360. So for 420, if I want to find a coterminal angle that's less than that, I would just subtract 360 degrees which gives me 60 degrees. So that gives me a positive angle that is coterminal with the given angle. Let's try negative 120. Now if I want to find a positive angle that's coterminal with negative 120, I know I'm going to have to add in order to get that to be positive. So I would add 360 degrees to that, which would give me a positive 240 degrees. So 60 degrees and 420 are coterminal. Negative, 100, negative 120 degrees and 240 are also coterminal. All right, let's go back to part A. What if we wanted to find a negative angle that's coterminal with 420? Well, I already have 60 that's coterminal, so I could just subtract 360 to generate another coterminal angle, which would give me negative 300 degrees. Same thing here. Um, if I have, for negative 120, I've already generated a positive coterminal angle by adding 360. If I want to generate a negative, I would have to subtract 360. That would give me negative uh, 480 degrees. Okay. So pause the video, and you try Part C and D. And also find, once you find the posit a positive coterminal, also take a, take a minute and find a negative coterminal as well. So for the 400, I'm going to subtract 360 to find a coterminal angle. 400 minus 60 is 40 degrees, so that's one coterminal angle, and that's positive. If I want to find a second coterminal angle, I would subtract 360. That would be, give me negative 320 degrees. So both 40 and negative 320 are both coterminal angles. There's an infinite number of coterminal angles for a given angle. You just keep adding or subtracting multiples of 360. 
for the last one, if you want to get your positive, you would add 360 degrees. That would give you 225 degrees. If you wanted to find your negative coterminal angle, you would subtract 360 from the negative 360, and that would give you negative 495. All right, so if we want to find coterminal angles when we are in radians, like this next example, we're going to have to add or subtract 2 pi, or multiples of 2 pi. So it says find a positive angle. I'm also going to have you find a negative angle as well that's coterminal with the given. So for the first one, for the first one, if, if I want to find a positive angle that's less than 2 pi, I first want to kind of figure out what 2 pi would be with respect to 6 as a denominator. And that would be 2 pi is equal to 12 pi over 6. So I know that 17 pi over 6 is definitely larger than, than 2 pi, because it's larger than 12 pi over 6. So I would start by subtracting 12 pi over 6. And that would give me 5 pi over 6. And so if I want, that would be one angle that's coterminal. If I want to continue and uh, get a negative coterminal angle, I would take the 5 pi over 6, subtract 2 pi again, and 2 pi in the form of 12 pi over 6. So 5 minus 12 would be negative 7 pi over 6. And so we first got our angle that was between, uh, that was a positive angle that was less than 2 pi. And then we got a second angle that was a negative coterminal. Right, with negative pi over 12, I know that I am definitely less than 2 pi, so in order to get an angle that's greater than 2 pi, I'm going to have to add 2 pi. And in this case, 2 pi in the equivalent of 24 pi over 12. So I end up with 23 pi over 12 would be my positive coterminal angle. If I want to come up with a negative coterminal angle, I'll take the negative pi over 12 and I'll subtract 24 pi over 12. That'll give me negative 25 pi over 12. All right, so pause the video. Do the same for C and D. Find one positive coterminal angle that's less than 2 pi and also find one negative coterminal angle. All right, for negative 13 pi over 5, I'm going to start by just adding 2 pi to that. Negative 13 pi over 5 plus 10 pi over 5, that's the equivalent of 2 pi. And in this case, that's going to give me a negative coterminal angle, so there's my negative. But they also want a positive coterminal that's less than 2 pi. I'm going to add 10 pi over 5 again, just adding another multiple of 2 pi and that gives me 7 pi over 5. So these are both angles that are coterminal with negative 13 pi over 5. They're also in fact coterminal with each other because they have the same initial side and the same terminal side. Last one, negative pi over 15. I want to add 2 pi with a denominator of 15. So that would have to be 30 pi. So I get negative 29 pi excuse me, positive, 29 pi over 15. And if I want to find a negative coterminal, I take the negative pi over 15 and I subtract the 30 pi over 15, which gives me negative 31 pi over 15. And here's your positive coterminal angle, here's your negative. And again, since 30 pi over 15 is equal to 2 pi, you can see that this is less than 2 pi.